Hello and welcome to the video version of my journal. I'm Stephanie Rivers. I was in Buffalo recently eating dinner at a hotel restaurant when a couple walked up and started to inquire about the menu. What kind of food do y'all have? The woman asked the hostess. She could have answered her own questions just by looking at the menu. When the hostess told her about some of the restaurant's signature dishes, the woman asked in an even louder tone, well how much are your entrees? The whole scene was so crass. It reminded me of the time that I went to Vietnam as a Fulbright Hayes Fellow with a group of college professors. One of my colleagues kept reminding everybody about how broke she was. I started to avoid conversations with her when I felt that the conversation was going towards money. It was as if she was asking to borrow money without actually asking to borrow money. And although I wasn't broke, I didn't have enough money to let anybody borrow. It's one thing to have financial hardships. It's another thing to recite a woe is me monologue every time somebody listens. But maybe lean times lend themselves to less euphemisms and more direct dialogue. When I encounter salespeople or telemarketers, my goal is to cut to the bottom line and so I can find out um, what the price is and so we can both go on with our lives. Having less money than you're used to certainly can add to stress levels and it makes matters worse it seems when some people want to continue to enjoy the same lifestyle despite having less money. At a time when most people are watching every penny, have the rules of etiquette changed when it comes to eating out? Downgrading the caliber of restaurants one frequents from say a personal server type of a restaurant to a buffet style restaurant might help people to keep up their social life um, and save money at the same time. And even though my disposable income might be less but the goods and services of food that I pay for are higher, I still am responsible for leaving an adequate tip. It's not the waiter's fault that I'm broke. But if I'm so worried about the cost of eating out that I have to interrogate the hostess before I allow her to seat me, and I have to shortchange to the point of insulting the waiter without because I didn't leave um, an adequate tip, maybe I should just forego the whole unsavory scene and stay at home. For these and other things that I care about, check out the written version of my journal at eurweb.com. Thanks and have a super day.